Hello and welcome back to Life in the First Lane. I'm Steve and yeah, this is a little bit of an update of what's going on with the cars um, as as of this weekend. So uh, yeah, sit back, enjoy and uh, let's get into it, shall we? So as you know and as you can tell, I'm in the Mazda at the moment and uh, yeah, we've had a bit of a busy weekend with the cars. So the Mazda's now got the new plates on it. The Mini's had his replacement plates put on. He's uh, had new door handles and door locks put on, so now we can lock and we brought him home. So he's now sitting at ours, uh, ready to go. Now, got on him yesterday to take him out and uh, try to turn him over and found the accelerator pedal was flat to the floor so it looks like the battery was earthing through the um what's it called the accelerator pedal the, the accelerator cable so it looks like that's been snapped because it's been taking the air pressure from the rest of the car so i've got to have the accelerator cable replaced the ignition cable um, and while he's going into the garage I'm going to get him to have updated brakes so we're going to put new disc brakes and uh, calipers on him to bring him up to modern day standard um, I'm also getting a automatic choke fitted instead of having a manual choke that way I'm not worrying about it in the in the, in the winter and yeah he's going to be okay now I'm in two minds about selling the Volvo you know at the moment I've got the Mazda I've got the Mini and I've got Dennis the Volvo now all three cars are taxed MOT'd and insured they're not costing me anything extra so I don't know what to do but days like today I'm in the Mazda it's a bit wet a bit windy but it's also very very sunny as you can see from outside so I'm not worried about using the Mazda as a day-to-day -day car. I'm just doing a bit of a fuel test th this week. So I've put 40 pounds worth of uh, premium on leaded in. I've reset the clock and I've got to see how many miles I get with the 40 pounds. So I'm in, I'm in two minds because like I say, I do love Dennis. He's a great workhorse. But, you know, I've got to great classic cars well I'll say classic one really classic car and it will be in a couple of years and a sports car that cost me 1500 quid today is uh, day two of me using the Mazda for my daily drive to work um, as you can see I've got all the fans on sort of like defrosting the car a little bit because it's been quite chilly overnight um, I put 40 pounds of fuel in it yesterday um, I got roughly three quarters of a tank um, and yeah so yesterday I did 88.2 miles and yeah so the, the fuel was roughly um, near that second block from top so that's how much fuel I've used in the last couple of days say the last couple of days i mean yesterday today's only day two um and yeah it's gonna cost me a bit more fuel but then again i did expect that moving from a 1.6 diesel uh where i'm getting approximately i'm looking at the car like you can see it over there um moving from a 1.6 diesel where i'm getting approximately 55 56 miles to the gallon to a two litre petrol where I'm probably only going to get about 30 if I'm lucky. So I am expecting an increase in fuel. So I do have to explain um, actually about how I'm driving the car so you can get a rough idea when I start talking about miles per gallon later on. And known for having a bit of a heavy foot in the Volvo. However, when I'm driving the Mazda, um, I tend to stick to 60, 65. Obviously, I know it's got the power there to go a lot quicker um, and a lot faster. But like you say, I'm trying to to get fuel um, economy right. So 
I know what's going on. Plus the fact that she's an old, he's an old boy now. He's a 56 plate. He's got 150,000 miles on the clock. So I want to try and look after him a little bit as well. Um, so I can carry on enjoying him. I have been looking for the hard top for this for the winter. Um, not that I don't trust the soft top. It's just, again, that little bit of comfort in the winter. You know, take some of the road traffic noise out, try and keep some of the heat in, etc. Um, so yeah, that will probably help me fuel economy a little bit more as well. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not driving him as mad as I do with the Volvo, shall we say. One of the other things I do enjoy, and find it actually quite funny, is when I'm driving the Mazda, some of the looks that I get, you know, some people are looking at me like, you're driving a Mazda MX-5, you know? They, they, they like the car, they like seeing the car. The other bit that I find quite funny is that when people look at me being like, you're driving an MX-5, that's a hairdresser's car. And, you know, do I look like I need a hairdresser? The thing for me is that this is a, a an entry level sports car, midlife crisis thing for me. And it cost me 1500 quid. One of the things I do find quite funny is the, you know, when I bought the car from my friend, uh, they did mention the fact that, you know, there is this little, like, MX-5 wave. You see another Mazda, you wave at them, they wave back, sort of like a little bit of a, a nod to the fact that you are driving the Mazda. There's not an MX-5. There's definitely a split between old and new Mazdas. You know, you, I, I, I see a lot more people waving back when they're driving an older Mazda uh, than I do the newer Mazdas, the MX-5s. You know, and I don't know if the showroom should, you know, put a stick on it. Don't forget to wave at other Mazda MX-5s, you know? let everybody enjoy that so I get a real good like buzz a little bit of a giggle when inside when they wave back but I feel like a bit of a knob when they don't there is one thing about driving this, is that because I do a lot of motorway mileage, when I come off the motorway, I do forget sometimes that the Mazda is a manual, and I sort of struggle to find where the clutch is. Um, I suppose I'll just get used to that over time, you know, and once the Volvo does go, my only two cars are manual, so I don't think it'll be a problem. So today is day three and it's my final day of driving to the office. Uh, so any mileage after today, it's just going to be recreational, personal mileage, not work mileage. Um, I'm currently sitting on 163 miles and I've done a quarter of a tank. Um, so it's not looking great in the way of mileage. Um, so, but I have said that I am expecting that uh, while I'm driving this for the day-to-day -day stuff. Um, yeah, as you can tell, the heating's on again and defrosting everything. Uh, although it's not really that cold outside, the car doesn't seem to like the cold weather. So, I have got the cap. I will put, start putting the cap on over evenings just to, you know, stop the... the the weather and stuff like that from affecting the car and uh yeah yeah overall i am enjoying using the uh, mx5 as my day-to-day -day car so i am looking forward to it i just hope i don't lose the enthusiasm of driving the vehicle doing it long term if you do do it long term please leave me a comment and let me know what your thoughts are about using it for a day-to-day -day vehicle and uh yeah and uh, are you still enjoying it one thing I'm definitely going to have to do in this car though is change this head unit. I've got 
to me Bluetooth playing through the car via one of those little adapters that you tune into the radio and it's great, it works however the phone quality isn't great when I say call but that might just be the general noise in the car however every now and then the radio goes crackily with the connection so yeah I'm, that's one thing you're going to have to change I've been looking at one of these units that you, you see in um, your Facebook adverts you know where you put it on the top of the dash and you Bluetooth to that and that plugs in and stuff like that I don't know how good they are um, I have ordered the replacement fascia though you know so you can just change your stereo so yeah that's one thing that's on my mind about living in something in the car with a little bit of a different soundtrack for today see so it's evenings like this that I really enjoy driving the car it's sort of you know it's nice and warm sun's out roof's down I've just dropped the, the, the elder stuff from trampoline and I'm on the way home now I have just done me 40 mile uh, me 40 pounds worth of fuel and I've managed to get 265.5 miles out of it so I'll go back and I'll work out the miles per gallon um, of, of what I've got and what my fuel economy is going to be etc and uh, I'll let you know uh, what that is but as of driving this as my daily driver you know I do love it there is times where it hurts me lower back a little bit driving uh, this in the seat and stuff like that so I might just, that might just be my seating position um, but like I say look at today look at this this evening I'm out in the car I've got the roof down the windows are down I'll put my music on in a minute and uh, I'll be on the way home via the motorway so yeah so it's the next day um, and as you can see I'm working or well, I have worked from home today and um, yeah so I've had a chance to crunch the figures and I'm going to put the actual figures down here uh, for you to see so I've put 40 pounds worth of fuel in I got roughly 27 and a half litres of premium petrol at 145 a litre and then that give me a uh, total figure of roughly 9.6 uh, miles per litre which then that converts into 43 miles per gallon I am over the moon with that that is a lot more than what I thought I thought I was going to be around the the 28s to 30s miles per gallon Lana seems to think I should have been around about the 30 to 35 mile per gallon so to be up at 43 miles per gallon is is great I'm not gonna lie to you last night on the way home from New Brighton after dropping the uh, Jessica off I did have my foot down on the motorway and I did notice the, the needle go like that I was like wow uh, but I really enjoyed the drive home um, Am I in any rush to sell any of the three cars? No. At the moment, uh, Teddy's got a lot of work that needs to be done on him. A lot more work than I thought needed to be done. Uh, the Mazda is still going to be my son weekend car, I think, for until at least Christmas. And I'm going to keep hold of um, Dennis, the Volvo, uh, until after Christmas until I find out what's going on with Teddy um, so yeah I am going to be that person that's got three cars um, but they're all taxed they're all insured you know that they're, they're all ready to go so they're not none of them are, are illegal or anything like that and I don't need to worry about any of the park and I think the neighbors are very understanding of my car situation at the moment um, so yeah i i am looking forward to where my cars take me and on this journey and on this channel and i know lana's doing a lot of content as well at the moment but like i say 73 miles per gallon out of a two liter sports car um I'd granted a lot of that is at 60 miles an hour 
However, I am looking into having him remap so he's a bit more fuel efficient. So I might lose a little bit of that top end performance and speed, but at least I can enjoy him. And like I say, I'm going to take my time with the Mazda and I'm going to look after him. Um, because like I say, he's, he's getting old now. He's a 56 plate and he's got 150,000 miles on the clock. Um, anyway, if you haven't already, please like the video and then please subscribe to the channel. That's Life in the First Lane. Okay, you'll get to see all our vlog, uh, vlogs and all our travels and stuff like that. And what I'm going to do with the cars and what I do to the cars. Um, I'm hoping to get a couple of dash cams fitted as well so I can get some driving footage for you to, to, to put over the top of of us talking and you can see the, some of the, the beautiful views and, and roads that we drive on while we're out and about. And I do also have another channel there which is Movie Chats, now that's more TV, film, entertainment related. Uh, where I show you what I've been picking up this week, etc, etc. Like un unboxing this package. That's going to be on the other channel. I don't know what's in there. That's just arrived this morning. Uh, as you can see, I like to collect my figures and, and stuff like that. So that, that's all over on that other channel. So go and subscribe to Movie Chats as well. I'm Steve. You've been watching Life in the First Lane. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.